Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and in this video we are going to talk about monophyletic and paraphyletic groups and here is a question. Given the following phylogenetic tree, which of the following statements is correct? And here is the variants to choose from. Variant A for ancestor 5, a monophyletic group would include species F, G, H and I. So where is ancestor 5? It is here. So ancestor 5 here. And we are told that monophyletic group would include species F, G, H and I. So let me circle it. So you would better have a vision of this group. And actually this is a false statement. Why? Because monophyletic group for ancestor number 5 would include all the descendants. The circle have to be like this. One more time, in monophyletic group, when we specify common, recent common ancestor, we should include all the descendants of this common ancestor. Now statement number 2 or B, for ancestor 5, the paraphyletic group would include species D, E, F, G, H and I. So for ancestor 5, paraphyletic group would include all the species. Again, you already know that we call such group monophyletic. And what is a paraphyletic? Paraphyletic would be, for example, this group, which circled with red color, which only includes some of the descendants, but not all. So such group we call paraphyletic. Now let's check the statement C. For ancestor 2, a monophyletic group would include species A, B and C. For the common ancestor number 2, which is here, we include all his descendants, species A, B and C. And this is going to be example of the monophyletic group. So as you see, the statement is correct. But let's check the last statement. D for ancestor 7, which is here. So let's highlight it. For ancestor 7, a paraphyletic group would include species F, G, H and I. So common ancestor 7 and species F, G, H and I. And again, this is going to be an example of monophyletic group because for this common ancestor, these four species would represent all the descendants. So this is going to be monophyletic group and not paraphyletic group. So out of four statements here, only statement C is the only correct statement. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.